Hello and welcome to the first episode of the Developer Talk. Today we're going to talk about concurrency, we're going to talk about pessimistic and optimistic locking. So when we talk about concurrency, we are talking about some shared research that has been accessed by more than one agent. And we could understand agent as a thread, a proxy, different users, different people. And research could be something that's shared. For example, a file, a shared memory space, a row in a database, or even an entire table in a database. Something that is shared. So, <clears throat> let's tell a story to understand some problems that could happen when we talk about concurrence. Let's say that we have Bobby and Mary. Um, they are, are, are going to marry and they are gonna write a wedding list, right? So they're both, they both want to, to add the same file. So Bob opens the file first, start to add some names to the invitation list, and then Mary opens the same file and start to add in some names too, but Mary finishes first, then she saves the file, and after that, Bob um, writes some more names and then uh, finish editing and save the file too. So what happened in this little story. Mary lost everything that she did and she had an inconsistent read because when she, she opened the file Bob was already um, adding some information to the file that she didn't um, get in the first place. So everything that she did was overwritten by um, the Bob modifications. When we, we talk about um, versioning systems like CVS, Git, um, Subversion, for example, we are always dealing with this kind of strategies that we are going to talk now. Locking, optimistic locking and pessimistic locking, and these strategies to solve those problems that happen in the little story. So, the first one is the pessimistic locking. The pessimistic locking is used by <coughs> Safe, that is a Microsoft versioning system, uh, version control system. And what it does, it's, it blocks the file when you do a check-in, when you start, when you open the file, when you start to, you want to edit the file, it blocks the file so nobody else can add the same file that you are editing at the moment. Um, so it avoids other people to have inconsistent reads and it avoids uh, other people to overwritten what you, you did or what's, what somebody else did. But the problem with these strategies is that it can cause a deadlock. So we're going to talk about deadlock in another episode soon. The other approach, which is used by Git, by default, by Mercurial, um, Subversion, is the optimist blocking. So optimist blocking uh, allows everybody to add the file at the same time. But when you try to do a commit, when you try to um, effectuate your modifications, it's gonna check if the version that you, you have is the last one. If it's not the last one, you're gonna have to get the last one in the first place, then um, include your modifications and then commit and then save. So, it avoids um, other people modifications to be lost forever like happened in our story. So this is it for today, I hope you liked and I'll be talking about developer, software development topics almost every day here. 